and science. In this video, I'd like to go over how to calculate diameter when you're given circumference. Let's first figure out what the formula is and how we got the formula, and then we will work two examples. Okay, in order, if you're given the diameter to find the circumference, you just multiply the diameter times pi. However, if you have circumference and you want diameter, you have to get diameter by itself. So what we will do is, in order to get rid of the pi, we will divide both sides by pi, because what you do to one side, you do to both sides of the equation. So when we divide both sides by pi, that gives us this cancels, and so you are left with diameter is equal to circumference divided by pi. So that's how we get the formula. And then for these examples, I'm going to use pi is equal to 3.14. Okay, so the first object I have is let's find the diameter of this tape. And, um, you know, in order to find the diameter, if you don't have it, I have a tape measure here. And you just wrap the tape measure all the way around until it gets, uh, just goes all the way around the circumference. And then you see what the measuring is. And I've done this in advance. And when you, the circumference of the piece of tape is equal to 35 centimeters. So in order to find the diameter, I just divide 35 by 3.14, and that equals 35 divided by 3.14 is 11.14 centimeters. So that tells you that if you went go straight across with this piece of tape, which is a circle, it would be 11.414 centimeters, okay? Now, you would say, well, why don't you just do that each time? But what if you have a sphere like this golf ball and you can't go directly across? You can do the height. But anyway, you can get the circumference of the golf ball the same way. There's the circumference. And when I measured the circumference of the golf ball, the circumference equals 14 centimeters. So now in order to get the diameter, I just diameter is equal to 14 divided by 3.14. And then when you divide 14 by 3.14, the diameter is equal to 4.45 centimeters. And I would probably round that to 4.5 centimeters. So in recap, in order to get the diameter given the circumference, you just use this formula right here. Diameter is equal to circumference divided by pi. So there we go. I hope that helps in calculating diameter from circumference. Thanks for watching, and MooMooMath uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.